late last night. I got a call about a cat stuck in a tree that had been there for six days. This is the cat's uh, fifth day. Three days, you said? Yeah. Doing this for about 10 years now, Tom and I have rescued well over 3,000 cats from trees. That's a lot of cats. Uh, 2018 alone, we're gonna do well over 500 rescues. Bradley, Billy, Sheldon, Captain, Houdini, Mocha, Angie, JD, Katie, Bijou. We definitely um, travel all over the state. Predominantly in Western Washington is our area of focus, um, but we've been known to travel 200 miles in one direction to rescue a cat, because there's a lot of cats that climb trees and certainly a lot of them that need help. Hi, Shannon. Cute cat alert. It's predominantly my full-time job to rescue cats that get stuck up in trees, although we both have other things that we do. The idea came for Canopy Cat Rescue about 10 years ago when Tom and I realized there was a big need for caring, compassionate tree climbers to rescue cats that get stuck up in these tall trees. Contrary to popular belief, they don't always make it down out of these trees that they climb. Sometimes they're well over 100 feet up in these trees and certainly after a day or so, they definitely need help. I know, sweetie. Your meow sounds very raspy. Hi. Look how sappy you are. Cats can climb as high as a tree is tall. Our highest ever cat rescue was 175 feet. Our, our average cat rescue height is between 65 and 95 feet. Toby's peeing. Oh man, that smells not good, Toby. For some reason, cats like to pee on me. Every rescue is different. Uh, not only is every cat different, but every tree is different. You know, sometimes these cats are, you know, 20 feet up in a very easily climbed tree. Uh, other times they're, you know, at the very, very top of a 160 foot tall tree that's very difficult. Uh, but ultimately it boils down to the cat itself. Uh, some of these cats are very fearful of us because they don't know us, we're complete strangers. We're gonna go down. I know, geez. Sometimes they are so ready to get some help, they will actually climb down to us and then we can pick them up. Are you purring already? Oh, I love purrs. I love the love purrs. The most challenging part when the cat's very fearful of us and will go way out on a limb or to the very top of the tree. Uh, because obviously a 10 pound cat can climb places in a tree that a 200 pound guy cannot. And then we'll have to incorporate something like our big net here to get the cat safely down. But a lot of times it's very easy. We'll just climb straight on up to a branch and the kitty will be waiting for us and then we'll actually uh, put them in our rescue sack, which is this. There's a lot of things that we consider when climbing a tree. Obviously both Tom and I are certified arborists, uh, which basically that means we're both tree professionals. Uh, we both know a lot about trees and before we ever even climb a tree to rescue cat, we definitely assess 
um, all the hazards involved, you know, whether this is a healthy tree, um, whether there's negative things that the cat could land on if it were to jump, slip, or fall. Oh, jeez. There are rocks underneath the tree. Um, all those things um, help us uh, make the best decisions when climbing these trees to get cats. There's a lot of things that we do to make the cat feel very comfortable when we're up in the tree. Um, one of the things that we do is we let them know that we're here to help. I know, pretty. I know, pretty boy. You just, oh, just stay there. I'll come get you. Hold on. Hi, sweetie. I just want to give you snuggles. I'm going to come over and get you, okay, sweetie? Uh, we definitely pet the cat. Um, we don't bring food up in the tree. A lot of times in these situations, they're not real interested in eating. Um, we call them by their name. We let them know that we're there to help. Call them by their name. Hi, Santorini. I know you don't know me. I'm nice. When we get on up to them, we, we pick them up as we normally would a normal cat. Um, we don't scruff them uh, unless we have to. And we pick them up like they were our own cat in a tree. Are you making biscuits? Ah! Oh, I know. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love you. Can you give me a high five? Is that a five? Ah! I know. Hey, hey, hey. I don't care if your butt's a little poopy. I'm still gonna hold you. We operate on donations. We do a lot of rescues for free. And basically what that means is we'll help somebody out regardless of their ability to pay. Um, certainly we encourage folks to donate if they can. Folks can donate to us when, they, uh, when we come on out to do the rescue. Folks can also find us online. Our website is canopycatrescue.com. See those fangs. Oh, look at those fangs. All right, it's time for the Houdinis to go back into the bag. Cat's in the bag. There's your mama. Where you doing, baby? Come here. Oh, hi, sweetie. Here, let's get that on. Oh, wow, give him some love. Oh, sweetie. I know. I know. Thank You're welcome. Look at Paul's going. Tom and I don't really consider ourselves heroes, uh, even though we do get called that um, every day. You know, a lot of people, they get into this situation, they don't know who to call. They've called the fire department, animal control, police, uh, vets, and generally those folks don't have qualified tree climbers to rescue cats that get stuck up in trees. And so, yeah, folks call us heroes every day um, because we climb these trees like Superman, get the kitty down safely, put them in a sack, and then um, safely return them to the owner's arms. And uh, that feels pretty heroic at times. Adventure coming down. Are you ready to snuggle him? He's done with this adventure. Yeah, he doesn't want to do another one of these adventures ever again. <laughs>